All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the session where we have Anushka with us. Anushka is uh, a student of Bethun College in Calcutta University, and she is made it to ISI this year in her first attempt. So, welcome, Anushka, and many, many congratulations. Thank you. For Thank, you Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, and we were just talking. She's the first one from our college to ever make it. So that's also a big achievement, and uh, you know, it's a big, a big moment of pride, I would say, for everyone around her. That uh, you know she's made it in this. So how are things, Anushka? How how are you feeling? It's great, ma'am. I'm still in the process of digesting the news. <laughs> it's it's been great. I say it's always been a dream, and uh, now that it has come true, it's, yeah, it's really great. That it is. It is. Uh, it's so amazing to think that you did something which you know that you don't have a precedence to that. You know, nobody did it before you. So yes, it's 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 a special feeling to have that. It's done a that. special feeling, yes, ma'am. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. That's great. So Anushka, uh, why don't you just take us through? Um, you know, how, what was your preparation journey like? How were these months of preparing, and what did you do? Uh, so, ma'am, uh, I always felt that I am a little weak in maths, and uh, that was. the reason i enrolled myself in edusure because i need some guidance in maths mm -hmm. and uh, from day one i felt that uh, as the student portal also gave us the opportunity to have a lot of practice and that practice really made me confident about my math skills and uh, gradually i practiced i solved a lot of questions and i used to do all my homeworks regularly so that really gives me a lot of confidence and uh, that's how the journey started and uh, along with that ma'am i felt that the mocks were really helpful for me as i am from eco background eco was not really a part of concern for me but maths and stats were uh, something that i really need to struggle on so i worked on that and yes ma'am so the portal helped me a lot and uh, i tried to make use of the portal uh, very Uh, immensely, so that's how the journey started, and uh, it's been a very uh, good good journey, I would say. And yeah. uh, and you and Sir were always there to guide me. Uh, yeah. So yes, ma'am. So, so that's how. It is. Uh, I would you know when I if somebody would ask me that out of maths and eco, which is the more important sort of skill to have. and i would always choose maths because maths is maths and then eco also has so much maths so you know maths is like everywhere when it comes to these entrances yes. and you were saying yes. that you were weak in maths how so it's you know uh, so how did you how did you really take it topic by topic concept by concept because it must not have been easy for you yes ma'am i initially felt that uh, as i started solving the questions i felt that it's not that i can do all all of them Hmm. but then i pointed out the areas which i am weak in particularly and uh, try to solve them uh, like limit limit or permutations and combinations these are some topics which i felt that i am not very strong so i used to do them with a lot more awareness that okay these are the parts that i am not very comfortable so i have to do it more rigorously than the other parts so ma'am i pointed out that the uh, topics and try to uh, make it make myself comfortable in that so that is how man it started hmm yeah so did you uh it, you must have had doubts right because every time it's maths if i'm doing macro there's math if i'm doing micro there's maths you must yes. have had doubts that you know will i be able to really do this you know cover the whole maths journey and do the questions uh and yes ma'am that's why i started very early i i enrolled myself in the eco masters course as well okay. so there i uh, so there i basically prepared a base for my maths okay. and uh, in the second year when i got into the eco topper course then there were uh, many uh, eco topics also which i struggled in so that was a lot more easier because i got much more time because i have two long years with me yeah. so i started very early that is the reason i felt that i need to have that time for me because yeah. in the end of the days there were uh, college exams as well so yeah. we need to keep that in mind as well so 
I started really early. That is the reason. Yeah, I think that was that was a very good strategy that you opted for the you know master's course, yes, uh, foundation yes. course also, because the yes. uh, because yeah that would that's what i would think that you know for someone who's weak in math it's a very tall order to do everything in one year yes ma'am yeah so uh, let's talk about how you manage your college uh, along with studying for these entrances how did you manage your time uh, ma'am i used to make a routine for me i used to do weekly routine for me and i made that routine in a way that i can really follow so in a week i used to write it for myself that these are the chapters or these are the topics i need to cover in this week so mm-hmm. i really made a good routine for me and i always try to stick to that routine i never used to change that much so that really helped me uh, to uh, to manage the college as well as these entrance examinations so that was the strategy i followed now so can you briefly share like what how would a typical week look like like how did you do that ma'am i used to devote uh, four to five days for uh, uh, five days for my college as well as the studies like two to three hours i would give to these entrances and the rest of the apart from the college hours two to three yeah. hours daily and uh, apart from that in the weekends i used to do my college studies because these and uh, weekdays i used to give for these entrances and the weekends i used to give for my college so that how i that's how i managed this uh, entire thing okay so you should dedicate like 2 to 2 to 3 hours every day for your entrances yes. on weekdays and weekends send the rest of the time used to be for your college studies yes please me and uh, today looking back do you think that was a good strategy that is something that you know you think you should have uh, this is how um, it's it 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 is something that maybe others can also try yes ma'am definitely i think uh, it depends on uh, the uh, the power of you uh, the power how quickly you grip the topics like mm-hmm. i need to have i need to give much time to grip them so i used to devote a good quality of time but if someone thinks that they can grip it quickly then mm. they could manage it it is understood by the student itself that how much time he or she would like to give i think mm. the routine has to be made by uh, an individual uh, which he or she can strictly follow i think it yeah. depends it depends it worked for me mm. but i think it varies from student to student i think yeah. yes yeah and uh, so how 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 much time did it take for you to um, how much time did you do devote to um you the theoretical preparation and how much time did you devote to the you know practical question sort of preparation uh, ma'am i used to do uh, practice the application part uh, majority of my time the theory part i think it's almost done in my college as well so i uh, not used to give much time to that so okay. used to solve the eco problems or the maths and stats all the time so you could see hours mostly uh, more than 2 hours i would give to the applications and half an hour to brush up the theories at a whole so okay all so right the time it was the applications okay all right so and um, anushka could you hold your mic closer yes yes yeah. um any um and when you look back you know you always think i should have done this differently is there anything that you would any mistakes or tips that you would like to share that okay had i known i would have done this differently uh, ma'am i really wish i could have given more mocks because uh, there were in the student portal there were chapter wise mocks available yeah so i initially thought that when i would finish the entire uh, syllabus then i would start giving the mocks mm-hmm. and give the chapter wise mocks but then i felt that when i finished up the entire syllabus then i felt that there is a very little time left with me so i used to give the uh, specific mocks the isi mocks or the lc yeah. mocks like that so i couldn't complete the entire chapter wise mock in that process so i think whenever they finish a chapter we should assess ourselves we should give the mocks and that really boost our confidence as well as uh, uh, it points uh, pointed uh, points out what are the areas we need to focus more on mm-hmm. so i think that could be something which others can follow as well 
yeah yeah that was actually the purpose of making those chapter wise notes because i wanted you to you know stop there and then and see do you really yes. know the chapter or not yes yes yeah so uh, and how was your interview experience anushka at i said uh, calcutta uh, ma'am it was good it was good ma'am uh, there were uh, 10 professors uh, sitting and they just asked me some random question what is utility function very easy questions not very difficult mm-hmm. uh, what is utility function and they then they gave me two sums to solve on the board it was also very easy function questions or type the pmf pdf mm-hmm. like that it was not very difficult something no? so it was good they were very friendly and uh, they always give me hint that you can think in this way also you can think in that way also mm-hmm. if i change it a little bit would the result change something mm-hmm. like that it's it it was good man it was nice experience okay so that sounds good that sounds good so you are uh, so great anushka i think uh, that's uh, those are great tips so if you had to just sum it sum up like your whole preparation strategy if you could just you know sum it up then if you could do that for the students yes ma'am i think uh, if we work hard honestly then that will do because uh, everyone is studying but we need to also have that belief that we can make it if you yeah. think that yes seeds are very little so would i be able to make it then it's not going to work we have mm-hmm. to have that belief that yes i am preparing i am honestly doing my work so i could make it to that best institutes of the country so mm-hmm. i think that will do the trick and uh, i would like to wish all the best to all my juniors mm-hmm. and i'm sh- sure that they will also make it some day mm-hmm. yes ma'am so that's that's it yeah great thank you so much anushka i think it is nice it is uh, it is uh, nice to hear about your journey and for me particularly because uh, you know to know that okay someone who is weak in maths but could work hard at it could overcome it and you know actually make it uh, that's also a very uh, positive boost and a heartening boost you know that yes. uh, because not everybody comes with the same base people yes. come with different bases so it's even that is okay if you put in you know your a little more effort for maybe more than a year maybe you take two years to do it you start in your second year you don't have to start in the third year if your base is weak so you start by a second year and then even that can be overcome so i think that is very heartening for me also to hear so many many congratulations and thank you uh, enjoy your time at isi i hope you have a great time and a great career and uh, all the very best thank you thank you all right thank you anushka bye bye